degrees or close to it for several days in a row, it really starts to kind of beat on you more and more the longer it goes on. So keep in mind, next week, really from Monday all the way through next weekend, it's going to stay extremely hot. I won't always begin with the 10 day forecast right off the top here, uh, but let's go ahead and just talk about this because this is the big dangerous thing you need to know about and should be prepared to, uh, to take care of yourselves and your families beginning next week for this heat wave. Monday, we're at 97 degrees. Then we're going to string together several days in a row where we may break 100 degrees or at least close to it. And the heat index, talking Monday all the way through next Sunday, you've got temperatures within a degree or two of 100 degrees. The heat index 105 to 110 will be common and the heat index could peak at 115 a couple of those days, at least close to it. So again, make sure you are taking care of yourselves. Uh, give grandma a call. Make sure you're hydrated. Uh, don't ever leave kids alone in vehicles ever, right? But this time of year making that mistake is uh, it can be can be fatal very quickly. Cars get hot enough to cook food. You've probably seen YouTube videos people making cookies and different things in the car when it's hot. So don't leave the kids or the creatures <laughs> in the vehicle at all uh, alone this time of the year, especially it can become like an oven in there. So temperatures right now range from 68 Marysville to as warm as 81 in Burlington, 83 in Council Grove. The heat index not a problem with low humidity. We had extreme humidity yesterday. Today it's not so bad. Storm in western Kansas. Some of these have been severe. Even some tornado warnings in southeastern Colorado. Now, as a look at the energy tonight, Supercast takes those storms far to the south. Scattered light rain moving our way. This will not be severe in our area. You can sleep just fine without worrying about hail or anything like that. But if you wake up tomorrow morning and see some lightning or scattered showers, don't be surprised. It won't last long. The rain ends by 9 a.m. Tonight, temperatures range from 63 in Hiawatha to 68 in Emporia. Tomorrow afternoon, this is a beautiful day. Friday, 85, lots of sun, low humidity. Today, the humidity was lower than it was yesterday, but tomorrow uh, should be even drier air. It's still warm in July, of course, but 85 degrees low humidity should be a nice day. By far the most comfortable air we'll see for quite a while. Temperatures tomorrow in the mid-80s. Supercast heat index tomorrow, again, not a problem. But check out the heat index for next week, though. Here's Monday, 105 to 110. Here's Tuesday, 105 to 110. Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, it just doesn't stop. So we've got this extreme heat beginning on uh, Monday and lasting most likely the next week. So here is the first alert uh, the weather room eight day forecast with the temperatures becoming extremely hot by Monday will be easily close to or in excess of 100 degrees for several days in a row and the heat index even worse. David.